so mister is there any regrets whatsoever about doing Love Island no literally not at all like, obviously I would have liked to have been in there longer each time I was in there what six days and five days but it's mad that been in there for such a short amount of time and things have blown up out of there so honestly I just really enjoyed the whole experience looking back I'll never experience emotions like I did like nerves you never believe how nervous I was when I first went in and then now just enjoying really why were you nervous if you looked in the mirror yeah but I've, like, I've never had even like a picture taken in the mirror unless it's on a football pitch let alone have a camera stuck in my face on the first date so I really was nervous honestly like, and it was good looking back like, like you're never going to feel that again because I'm, I'm used to the camera now it's not, when you look back were you like god I look good no, I don't like the way I look. I feel like I look different in person on TV. And I will say, a lot of people do say that to me, but I look to myself on the camera, I was like, I hope I don't. There's some bits I was like, I don't look like me. <laughs> the Muggy Mike name, is yeah. it annoying or a gift or a curse? No, do you know what? I probably nibbled, I can count on one hand, I probably nibbled twice, and it was because someone shouted it out in a way, like, thing. But if people come, Muggy Mike, I get it all the time walking down the street. Oh, it's Kim Muggy Mike, like in, up in wherever I was, up north somewhere. Well, I think it's funny. Um, yeah, but as long as, like I said, one, one, one guy sh shouted it out, like, oh, in, a, in an offensive way so then obviously turn around and uh, whatever like that like, just, just told him to shut his mouth and that was it <laughs> but no honestly I'll take it on a chin I really do not mind it people always ask me that but I don't mind it at all it's good you can't say the word muggy without thinking about it I'll say it at home I'm like it's quite humid I'll say muggy like, and I just can't even, can't even say it myself it's become like a thing yeah. you've made it a thing yeah. so any regrets at all I never have regrets no matter what I do it's, like, you learn from it, don't you? But I had a great time. I'm having a good time now. I mean, this is the first time I've put on a suit in years. This is probably my prom. So, yeah, I get to come to things like this. And, you know, have a laugh. And, and that. Uh, so you feel I a bit can, awkward can, on the carpet? Not even in the slightest. We're fine, honestly. <laughs> People think it's like it gets blown up by media. No, we're good. Talk to me Whatever about, happened, happened. Talk to me about Johnny. He's my... Like, see, you lot wouldn't have seen it, yeah? I'm not going to say it's, uh, I edited and all that, but since day one in there, two people I got on with best was Montana and Johnny. Johnny's my good, good mate now. We are, I'm out of him all the time. He's the only person from the show that I've really... We've made an effort with each other to go out. And you and him on a night out would be absolutely debaucherous. What do you mean? We would be. We've been on yeah. a night out in the end. It's been... <laughs> it's been... You need to follow me on Instagram a bit more, but after a certain... If I get too drunk... I have to put my phone in my pocket and stop recording everything because I'm and too And two late. more things I've got to ask you. Have you had a lot of success with the women? Since? Yeah, well, I have, yeah. It's been, like, did, don't get me wrong, I didn't do bad before I went in, but, like, I'd say calibre of women now has definitely uh, upped itself. But, no, it's, uh, it's good. And I'm what do you it. want to achieve? What do you want to do? Truthfully, yeah. I want to make as much money as possible. I want to set myself up just so I've grafted. Like, I know people have, like my dad's grafted his whole life. I was working, I won't even tell you some of the jobs I've done because I'm half embarrassed to, to say them, but I was doing a PT, I was playing football, I was working two jobs at once. So now it's just good to be able to like, have money coming in your account and not stress. I used to stress so much about money and where it's coming from, but no, just want to set myself up. I don't want to, obviously, I haven't been a burden on my parents' money for like, uh, years now, but yeah, I just want to. So just live a comfortable life what's and the have fun. Thing, what's the first thing you're going to really go and buy, like extravagant wise? Well, I'm saving now. I haven't spent, I've, I've been given a car. A nice one is that as well, but I've, it's not that, it's not actually cost me anything. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to definitely look for a nice place to call my own, like a, I don't know if I want to get a flat or a, or a house yet.